All right, so this is a short uh, video to help you get familiar with MolView, which is a really great tool for helping you visualize molecules. When you open it up, uh, you'll see a screen like this. This is uh, a molecule that I had built before. Uh, this is methane. And you're always going to see on this side of the screen the sort of structural formula that you can build. And over here, you're going to see a 3D version of the molecule uh, that you can manipulate. And uh, you'll also see a couple of things. There's a handy eraser, the trash bin, which I'm going to click now to get rid of this so I can walk you through another one, uh, the moving tool, and the elements. Now, remember, you're going to be using mostly CHNOPS, C-H-N-O-P-S. These are the organic molecules of life. These are the atoms that make up those organic molecules. If you use MolView for any other purpose and you find that you need something more that's not on here, uh, periodic table, there it is. Just click and select there. So, um, as an example, I'm going to walk you through um, an amino acid, in fact, the simplest amino acid, glycine. Now, you'll be given structural formulas and chemical formulas. So glycine, C2H5NO2, that isn't very helpful for you necessarily to figure out the structure. But stand back, I'm a qualified biologist, so I'm going to do this for you. All right, so I'm going to select carbon and put carbon in the middle there. I'm going to put another one over here. Um, they have nitrogen, they being amino acids, so there's a nitrogen. Uh, there's going to be oxygen. In fact, there's going to be two of them over here. And now I'm going to fill in bonds with hydrogen. So hydrogen, 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 and I'll put this one here. All right, so I've placed all my atoms, um, and now I'm going to use bonds. So the bonds that you're going to use most frequently, you're going to use single and double bonds. Uh, triple bonds will appear in certain molecules. These that you're seeing here, really, I'm not going to concern myself with them for you, but that you will see them in, for example, chemistry class or in future higher level courses. These are sort of stereo isomer bonds. They tell you which direction they're going. Think of it as sort of going into the screen or out of the screen. So single bonds. Uh, you have to do a sort of click and drag kind of thing to connect them. So click and drag, click and drag. Doesn't really matter which one you start with, right? But if you do accidentally click like that, undo. That was an accident. I didn't need that carbon. So we'll connect here. We'll connect here. And then the oxygen, the hydrogen that are here, they're a hydroxy group. Um, we need a double bond in this gap. So here we go. Altogether, this portion of the molecule is a carboxyl group, and this portion of the molecule is an amino group, and that's what gives them, this is acidic, this is the amino group, and that's why this is called an amino acid. I'm gonna click on this tool here to center it. It'll make it slightly larger. And in case you wanna sort of you know, tidy up your molecule, you can do that using the moving tool. This allows you to move the whole molecule if you need to, but you can click on an atom and sort of straighten out or shorten, you know, ridiculously long bonds like this one. That's like really long. Um, this one's a little long too. Uh, the, oh, not what I wanted to do. Moved it too close. Um, but I will move this in a bit. Now you'll notice this side of the screen hasn't updated yet. You have to click this 2D to 3D to get it to update and voila, there it is. Now the colors that are seen here, these are sort of the representational colors that are used in molecular model kits. Red is oxygen, black, or in this case, gray to make it stand out is carbon. White is generally hydrogen and blue is used for nitrogen. Um, you'll see yellow for sulfur, etc. Like if you get into some of those amino acids. And uh, that's how you use MolView. All right. Uh, I hope this has been helpful for you.